In this tutorial I am going to show you how to embed YouTube Shorts and TikTok videos into a WordPress page using Elementor free version. This is a quick and very useful tip that can be helpful for a number of reasons. Actually, this tip I am going to show you right now is a very simple thing to do. However, some people get confused because of the vertical layout of a YouTube Shorts video. So let's see first what the final result is going to be, and then we will start creating. The final page will look like that. In the first case, we have one video with its description on the right column. In the second case, we have three YouTube Shorts videos, one next to the other in three different columns. My name is Nick, and I am the founder of WPGoPro.com. We assist you with improving your WordPress skills so you can make more money for yourself, your clients, and your business. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, give the video a thumbs up so Google knows it was helpful to you. Let's get started with the video now. Let's create a new page. We give it a name, for example, Sample 3 and click on Publish. Then click on Edit with Elementor. OK, now we can add a single column section to our page. Let's add a heading to the section and type the title, WordPress Tips YouTube Shorts. Under the title, I can also add a text paragraph. Now let's add another two column section. In the left column, we added the HTML element. Now, let's go to YouTube to get the embed code for our first video. Let's open up this video in a new tab. Click on share and then on embed. I copy the code and paste it into the HTML element. OK, now I have to change the dimensions of the video. The width should be 315 pixels and the height should be 550 pixels because our video is vertical, as all YouTube Shorts videos are. The column width should be 33% so the video fits well. In the right column, I added the title element and I copied the title from YouTube. I also copied the description of the video and pasted it into a text element. I did some text formatting so it reads well. I think the column width should be a bit narrower, probably at 29%, and from the advanced tab I gave it a margin of 22 pixels. OK, let's now update the page and view the results we've got so far. I have just noticed there must be something wrong with the dimensions of the video. Let me go back and check it again. Okay, that's the error. The height should be 550 pixels. Let's fix it and check the video again. Let's refresh the page and try again. Alright, now, it looks like the column width needs some adjustment. So let's put it back to 33 pixels wide. Update the page. Refresh the page and this time our YouTube Shorts video fits perfectly into the frame in the column. Let's now move on to adding a few more videos using a different layout. Let's add another section to the page. Add a little bit of space. A new heading for the section like WordPress Tips, YouTube Shorts Library. Let's add another one section with three columns this time. As I did in the previous example, in the first column, I put the HTML element and, inside of it, the embed code for the video. Again, as I explained, the embed code can be found in the share section of the video on YouTube. Don't forget to change the dimensions of the video in the embed code. The width should be 315 pixels and the height should be 550 pixels. Click update. For the other two columns, it is easier to duplicate the first one and delete the two empty columns. So, now we have the three columns ready and all that I have to do is to just change the code of each video. 
Before that, let's add a bit of margin to each column. Adding 22 pixels is fine. Then copy the column and paste the style only to the other two columns. To do that, you click on Paste Style. Update the page and let's see how the page looks now. Refresh the page and scroll down. Indeed, our page looks fine. The final step is to replace the video code inside the embed code in the middle and the right column. So, go back to YouTube and copy the video code from another video. This step is easy and you can do it even from the video's URL as you see on screen. You can replace the video code inside the embed code like that. Finally, you repeat the process with the video in the right column. Click to update the page, and let's go and check what the page looks like now. Everything is as expected, and all three videos inside the three columns are fine. As a bonus, I will show you how to embed a video from TikTok. The steps are the same. So you need the embed code of the video, which can be found on the video's page on TikTok. So, let's go to TikTok. Click on the specific video you want to embed. Click on the icon with the HTML symbol. Copy the code. Go back to your website. Open up the page with Elementor. Scroll down and in the empty section at the bottom, repeat what we did in the example with the YouTube Shorts. Add the HTML element and insert the embed code into it. Click Update and let's check the page. Scroll down. As you are able to see, we have successfully embedded the video from TikTok. That concluded what I had for today. My name is Nick and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this. Don't forget to subscribe and the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. I will try to answer them as best as I can. Have fun with it till next time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and health.